what is up everybody uh we're gonna be talking about client versus server um as well as config i guess and we're gonna go through it somewhat quick because it's a very very basic thing uh right now we're just looking at my bank trucks because i don't i'm gonna be honest i'm not bringing up my uh my own frameworks uh thing right now so uh basically client side versus server side client side is uh used a lot for well we can see we have a lot of locals uh a lot of it in here is timing and spawning a vehicle and uh also the type so in here we see we have a lot of functions and this there's a lot that you could actually do with client side and it sort of directly correlates with your server side here so we'll look in a lot of these obviously the names are very fucking terrible and uh i definitely should rename some of this but i haven't coded uh esx in a while so uh we have functions here so this function right now on client side is rob and it basically gives you a timer and it will trigger event loot as well as the target vehicle uh so it grabs the vehicle that you're uh, looking at uh why it gives a timer and phase is actually because it gives a progress bar and the reason why it's in client is because progress bar making it client side makes it direct that one person uh that one person that is doing the robbing and then in here you can see it will trigger a server event so it triggers a lot of server events and this is how it basically correlates to uh server size server side especially on esx uh we gave items through the server side because uh, people could just uh, exploit and trigger event from the client side any event if they have a little cheat you know so uh in here it will give a amount here so if the progress is finished then it gives a random amount which math random here it's either going to give you two uh two through five so anywhere in between that and then it triggers this server event with the amount and we can go into this server event right here. Uh, so it's similar to client side. This is just register server event though, instead of client, uh, client. And then it's the same add event handler. So uh, we have the amount here. We get the local source of the player. So any anything basically passed in to here will have a source. So we renamed it SRC. And then local X player. Uh, equals this and then equals source I mean, you could have used src but i guess i just use source for some reason and then I, if x player equals x player which basically just making sure it's a player and then it gives the items based off of esx and there's also more you could do in client side i mean we have a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of functions uh, so here's the register this is it register net event is for client side um and i'll explain this a little bit uh in here um we get the player the player chords as well as we get the vehicle the vehicle let's see yeah get vehicle is a close vehicle basically and then it targets the vehicle blah 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 goes through all this it's checks if uh you can rob or is rob uh and then it just goes through basically all the other functions here draw 3d text is a another client side thing um anyone basically anyone close enough will it'll display text you've probably seen it in a lot of servers um other than that you could do a lot of the net events and then it sets uh basically triggering different things these could also trigger server events as well and then i want to see do we have one you could also make a looped event which a lot of people do or an event that starts right away so yeah basically right here um <clears throat> this i mean this commented out but citizen.create thread uh and then a function and then you can do while true or while something equals something and then you add the weight and then it'll just keep running so if uh I want to say we use this a lot for the drawing 3d text 
Let's see. Usually you use this a lot for drawing 3D text, because then it's like if you're close enough, it'll get it and then it'll do it. Um for server side, you could also have locals. Uh and this just makes it so we could show you right here. If we I mean this is called reject idiot, but uh basically it would uh fucked equals true, which means the vehicle's just it won't let you rob it. Uh, that means anyone that goes to that vehicle, they wouldn't be able to rob it as well. Um, other than that, it's pretty pretty simple. You could use it together. You could use them uh, differently. Uh, you could even use something that starts on resource. So there's an on resource start. That basically makes so when the resource started, it will do something. It will grab something or do anything. Uh, server side also, you could only you could use server side for uh sql callbacks and grab stuff from the player like their username or their in-game name and such like that then there's also <coughs> it's not in this file let's see if we can find one probably, in, probably have one in chop shop right yes config files <clears throat> um uh this basically you can call in either server or client and it would just be you'd call config dot chop load and then you would get it equal to a car. And uh, you could do that in either one. And I think that is about it. For that, if you have any questions, just hop in the Discord. Uh, if you don't have any questions, great, fantastic, you learned something. Maybe you didn't, maybe you already knew it. Congrats, though. Uh, but yeah, hop in the Discord if you need any help. It's linked in every single one of these videos, as well as the GitHub. So hopefully you got it all down. If you didn't, just put a put a little question in the Discord and I'll help you out.